Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'm looking forward to seeing what collective influences we will all be experiencing for the week of June 27th, 2021. And I am using my Light Seer Tarot by Chris Ann. And so I'm gonna give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. And as I do, my um, hope is that this past full moon has been gentle on you. We are in the sun sign of cancer and that full moon um, is a watery energy as well. So things have gotten a little intense these days, but I know that you all have been doing your very best, myself included, to, to keep myself grounded and keep, let's all keep ourselves grounded and try not to allow these emotions to take us on too much of an emotional roller coaster ride. I had one, two cards flip over, so um, they jumped out, so I'm going to use those. But but um, what's most important is during these times of intense shifting and changing in emotion, which is watery energy, which is which is going to continue to do what it needs to do. You try to stop water, right? You stop water from trying to to find where it needs where it wants to go. Good luck with that, right? So the best thing that we can do is to try not to give in too much into the impulses and and the crazy reactions. And if you've had some crazy reactions, don't worry about it. It's just an opportunity to shift, to look at things, to heal, to empower ourselves, and to align ourselves with our beautiful destinies. All right. So the first card we have is the Ace of Swords reversed. Then we have the hanged man and then we have the fool oh my gosh gosh what a beautiful selection of cards and what a beautiful message so the energy of the mind is the element of air and we just were in an air, air sign. we're just coming off of an air sign of um, gemini and then we also had mercury retrograde so that's also air thoughts mind as well so we have like um our our the thinking part of our mind our negative ego working over time to try to gain control and then you have all these emotions swirling around and the message for this upcoming week is to give ourselves permission to not have all the answers to not follow to not find a new direction to follow the path of least resistance at this time the ace of swords reversed is telling us that we might not have the solutions but that's okay it's okay and the solutions that we might have come up with before may not work for what's taking place at, currently in our lives the next card was the hangman and the hangman is where we consciously hopefully consciously shift and change the things that the way the things that we do that aren't productive or conducive for where we want to be in our lives so it's actively being proactive actively being proactive in shifting some of the things that are taking place in our approaches and how we process and how we um, uh, go about our daily lives so if you're hitting a lot of resistance something can be tweaked. That's the message this week. Something can be tweaked and tweaked and it wants to be tweaked. And then the last card we have is the fool. And the fool in this instance is all about trusting the process and knowing that if I change things up, I will be supported by the universe. This is such a beautiful, such a beautiful card. Look, she's, she's on the, has her back on the cliff. She's ready to just take that leap of faith. She has her crystal. There are some sacred geometries there, the flower of life that is going to support us, that knowing that life supports me. And um, some of the mantras that I am hearing are for us to maybe repeat or come up with our own are life supports me. If I stay in alignment with my truth, I will be supported. I have divine influences that are protecting me, supporting me, and guiding me. And in the end, it all will work out. Okay, so what a lovely week this week. As long as you try, as long as we, I'm going to put me in there, as long as we try not to, to fix everything, solve everything, 
even if we don't have all of the keys or the answers, if we stay out of our mind, if we go with the flow, um, and to accept that sometimes we don't have the answer or the solution, and knowing that, yes, the answer lies in the question, and the solution lies in the question and the inquiry, right? That's a beautiful um, um, concept understanding and knowingness that put your questions and your inquiries and your intentions, give them voice, put them out into the universe and allow yourself to be in alignment with opportunities and energies that support you with your soul's journey. All right, everyone. I'm Lori Baraka. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.